And tomorrow, reta retail stores will be able to open their doors to welcome shoppers at 25% capacity. News 13's Emma Stamp spoke with local business owners to see how they're preparing for the partial reopening. We're normally closed on Mondays, but this is a monumentous day for small businesses in Florida, so we're going to be open. Steven said business owners in St. Andrews are excited to be back open, and they spent the weekend getting their shops ready to go. We just immediately started cleaning and merchandising. When you leave a big old building sitting basically empty for or without a lot of activity for 30 days, things get dusty, floors get dirty. So we've taken this time to kind of spruce everything up and, you know, we could not be more excited for Monday morning. In downtown Panama City, retailers like Board & Brush Creative Studios have plans in place to protect both staff and patrons. When customers come in, we are requesting that they wear masks. It's not required, but we're requesting, so we're hoping that the majority of people will follow suit with that, but our employees will be required to wear masks. So we're trying to keep everything as um, safe and, and sanitized as possible. Ford & Brush also offers DIY workshops, and the partial reopening will allow them to host those events again. We are going to limit classes to eight people per class and we are free ranged our tables and everything to make the six feet work and each person that comes in is going to have their own box with all their own tools and supplies so there won't be any sharing of supplies and stuff like that. Reporting in Panama City, Emma Stamps, News 13, Panhandle Strong.